The following video is brought to you by GroundSchoolAcademy.com. Get a free seven-day trial of my online ground school at GroundSchoolAcademy.com. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of M0A. Dot com. Aircraft weight and balance. Not only today are we going to learn how to calculate it, but we're going to also learn what does an aft CG or a forward CG mean to our aircraft performance, our aircraft stall speed, etc. Um, this is really a big multi-part series. In this first video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to calculate a weight and balance. And the neat thing about it is you guys are getting access to something only my online ground school members have access to. And that is my weight and balance form that I created just for my guys in the online ground school. I want to share that with you guys and kind of give you a taste of what the online ground school is all about. So you'll get access to that form. We're going to go ahead and plot and show an entire aircraft weight and balance. Then I'm going to give you guys a little quiz. So in the next video, if you couldn't get it, I'm going to go ahead and explain you how you do the quiz question, which is all below this video if you're on M0A.com. And then after that, we're going to talk about aircraft performance. So it's a two, three, maybe four part video series all about aircraft weight and balance and how it affects our aircraft. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Let's go ahead and get on to the presentation. Hey everyone, Jason back with you. Getting to the presentation side of this. This is the um, weight and balance form that you can download and I'm going to show you how exactly to go through it here. The thing I want you to remember is this right here. Weight times arm equals our moment. And we're going to explain all this. Our weight, our CG arm, and our moment that we're going to talk about. Um, the aircraft we're doing this for is a 172, I believe it's a 172 with 180 horse conversion. Not the type of aircraft matters, but I figure you know where we're getting these numbers from. All right, so the aircraft weighs 1,600 pounds. Now, I am pulling all these numbers from the POH, from the pilot's operating handbook. You will be given these first three numbers. The rest you kind of have to work for a little bit. All right, the arm, the center of gravity arm is 38.5, and that is in inches, um, and 61,600. 100 is our aircraft moment. All right, so now we have a few things that we need to look at and go through. The first thing is our pilot and our passengers. We need to figure out the weight. Well, we've got, uh, let's say I'm 200 pounds and my passenger, my student is 200 pounds, making for a total of 400 pounds. Now what we need to figure out is figure out the arm which remember, weight times arm will give us a moment. So if I have the arm, I can figure out the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and look at our loading arrangements that we have set up here. Now this is actually just a picture right out of the pilot's operating handbook I took for you guys. And it shows our, um, our arm right here, okay? Look at this, our pilot and our passengers. Okay, so we have this right here, pilot passengers. It says anywhere from 34 to 46. Now that's dependent on where you put the, C, uh, the, the seat or the CG is based at, okay? The average is about 37. Well, I'm a pretty big guy and my students are tall as well. Let's say we're about average. I know I can't do it all the way back. I won't be able to reach the pedals because the seats go awfully far back. But we'll say we're about average, about 37. So we'll go back to this, and we'll put in our arm of 37. Remember now, weight times arm equals our moment. 400 times 37 is 40, 148,000. I'm sorry, 14,800. I'm losing track of my numbers here. 14,800 is our moment. Now, do we have any rear passengers? No. On this train flight, we don't have any rear passengers. But what about baggage? Yeah, well, I've got about a five pound flight bag and my student's going to take his or her flight bag. So we'll add 10 pounds for baggage and we've got to see what the arm is for that. So go back over this. I want you to pay close attention. You will not learn this at any other flight school and most instructors neglect to tell you this and show you this. All right. You would think my baggage would go. You would use the baggage area. 
But when you're flying an airplane, where do you really put your flight bag? Well, we put ours back on the rear seat. I don't want to put my flight bag back in the baggage area. I'd never be able to get to it if I actually needed something. So I usually just place it back on the rear seat or on the floor right by the rear seat. So use the proper arm for where you're actually going to place it. Just because this is the baggage area arm, you really need to be using the rear passenger arm because that's where we're going to place it. I'm going to place our bags on the rear seat. So times 73. So we'll go back to this. Times 73, that's our arm, gives us what? 730. And again, just taking that weight times the arm, giving us our moment. Now we need to take our zero fuel weight. You get, and there's a formula down beneath this you can really watch if you're getting confused, okay? We're going to take our weight, our basic empty weight, plus our pilot and passengers, plus our baggage to get our zero fuel weight of actually 2010. Go figure. All right. Now, well, I can't add my arms together. That would, that would screw up our equation because you, you go weight times arm to equal your moment. But let's think back to our old algebra days, or not even algebra, but what can we do? We can, what about adding up our moment, then dividing our moment by our weight to get our arm? Wouldn't that make sense? Okay, now I'm no math wizard, believe me. But if we add all these up, we get 77,130. Now divide that number into our weight, and we come out with our arm of 30. 8.3. Pretty neat, huh? Now we got our zero fuel weight, so we're doing good so far. Now let's start adding fuel to our airplane. Right now you guys are saying, man, Jason, this is really confusing. This is, if you can get this down pat, you're going to be such a safer pilot and be very impressive when it comes check ride time. Trust me, something very important to know, okay? So let's keep sticking with it here. Our fuel well, you got to do a little bit of thinking here. We're going to hold 30 gallons. Well, I can't just put 30 in there. That's how many gallons. How many pounds does a gallon of fuel weigh? Well, it actually weighs six pounds. I'll type this so you can see it per gallon. So six pounds per gallon. All right. So if I'm taking 30 gallons, times six, I'm going to come out to what? 180 pounds of fuel. All right. So we got that down. Our fuel arm, which we can find in our POH. Let's see. We'll look around here. You're reading, you're reading, you're reading. And all of a sudden it says the usable fuel CG arm is located at station 48. So we have that, station 48. So we know it already gave us our arm. And I was doing, so we've got that. Okay? So now we take that 180 times our 48, and we come up with 8,658. I think my calculation is actually at a 48.1, so it might be um, a tad off, but nothing, nothing significant, 0.1, if anything. Um, so now we're going to take our zero fuel weight and our actual fuel, add that together to get our ramp weight of 2,190. Add our moments together, just like we did on this last one. We got zero fuel weight, now getting our ramp weight. Add these two moments together because this is already the total version. Make sure you don't add this one, this one, this one, and this one. Zero fuel weights where you start again now. Zero fuel weight plus the fuel will give us our ramp moment of 85,788. Divide the moment into the weight to get our center of gravity arm of 39.1. Now we've got our ramp weight. Pretty neat, huh? Let's keep going. Just four more to go. We're almost done here. Start, taxi, and run up. Another thing too many flight schools and too many flight instructors don't let you take into account when calculating your weight and balance. You are going to start the airplane, taxi the airplane, run up the airplane, burn some fuel doing it. Well, let's say we're really farting around out there and we end up burning four gallons. 
Okay, we'll say we burn eight gallons an hour. So we're farting around for about a half an hour of, of starting it. Listen, the aid is taxing all around, running up the airplane, waiting for our clearance, all sorts of stuff. We burn four gallons. Well, we can't just put four. Okay, we gotta go four times six because remember, it's six pounds per gallon. So 24, but not just any 24, it's negative 24. Why? Because we are burning that fuel off. Now, our arm, we already know. Where is it coming from? It's coming from the fuel. And remember, I said I was using 48.1. It's actually what I came out earlier with the, uh, the real precise arm. They just round it to 48, but I add the one just to be really precise. Um, big aviation dork, sorry. Um, so now we take that negative 24 times our arm of 48 and come out with a moment, a negative moment of 1,150 four. So we subtract our start taxi and run up the fuel we burned off of our ramp weight to get our takeoff weight of 2,166. Subtract that from our moment to get 84,634. Divide those two together to get our arm of 39. Now we've got our takeoff weight. So when we take off, we'll be 2,166 pounds with a CG arm of 39. Take a look at this. Come over to our center of gravity limits. We take our weight, which was 2,166, somewhere, somewhere right up in here. And our arm of 39 down here. So we'll take that up. And take a look at that. There we are inside of our center of gravity envelope. You don't want to be outside of the envelope. That's what they call taking the airplane, uh, you know, beyond its envelope or flying outside of the envelope. You can really get yourself into a jam. Again, these pictures will be available to you when we do the little quiz part here uh, towards the end. Let's finish these last two to get a landing weight. Our fuel burn. Well, let's say we're going to burn on our training flight about 10 gallons. We'll fly just a little bit over an hour and burn 10 gallons. So how do we figure that out? Well, we know we got to go 10 times 6. 6 pounds per gallon. 60, but not just any 60. Negative 60. It's, we're taking off. We're taking it from the fuel, 48.1, and multiplying those two together to get our negative moment of 2,886 to give us a landing weight of 2,106, a moment of 81,748, and dividing the moment into the weight to give us an arm of 388 two if you really want to get precise or just 38.8 or round up to 39 for all that matters all right let's check our center of gravity limits on that well our weight was 2100 all right our arm was just about 39 so right about here again still well within our envelope it's when you start getting to the limits that you start really worrying about it i know this was really technical and really in depth Below this video, if you're on m0a.com, on the aircraft weight and balance section, scroll down beneath this, there's going to be, number one, you can download this document, and number two, I'm going to give you a calculation where you can run through this and try it yourself. I'm also going to include a video on how to solve that question so it will be down beneath this go ahead and try it then i'm going to go over it so you can really make sure you've got this down pat then even underneath that video there is how does this affect our airplane how does center of gravity whether it be an aft cg or a forward cg affect our cruise speed or affect our stall speed real real meaty important stuff i want you to go through this two three four times to make sure you really have it down pat and if you're still getting confused, uh, you know, 
Check out m0a.com for more great stuff. Leave me a comment below with questions, concerns, anything like that. I'll be more than happy to help you. Or uh, go ahead and take advantage of your free trial of my online ground school at groundschoolacademy.com. Uh, jump in there for seven days for free and really, really brush up on some good stuff. I'll see you guys. Uh, go ahead below this video. Try to take that quiz. And I'll see you guys in the next video.